Hi, I'm Jacob, and I teach percussion at REW Music. I really love my instrument as percussion, uh, mostly because of how many things I get to do. A lot of instruments, they're really fun to play, but it's usually a one and done. You play clarinet, you get really good at clarinet. But I am a person, I love playing multiple things. And so I get to play the xylophone, the marimba, the snare drum, drum set, bass drum, whatever I want. And I get time to practice all of those. So if I get tired and bored of practicing maybe the marimba, then I could take take a break and then go practice snare drum and just keep that going. Um, I also really loved in band uh, the fact that percussion majority of the time is often where the energy comes from for a lot of pieces and I like being kind of the creator of that energy with a bunch of my other percussion friends um, and so I've just always liked that almost structural, structural component of being a percussionist in a band setting. I think you should take lessons with me because I tend to do whatever I need to to make lessons fun and engaging and very student focused. Um, I really like going into lessons, thinking about what the student is wanting to learn. Um, if they're not really sure what they want to do, and we think together of what, what do we want to learn today or this week or this month, we communicate, both coming up with the goals. It's not just me telling the student what to do. Um, and then making sure whatever they learn, they can apply in their music classroom back at school so that they can feel more involved with that music making at their own school. A great experience I had recently as a teacher, I was teaching middle school band and we were playing a piece uh, with both middle school and high school that had a lot of really complicated rhythms um, and I had a seventh grader who really loved playing mallets and she, I uh, gave her this pretty tough mallet part that involved using multiple mallet instruments and doing all these complicated rhythms um, and I had the opportunity to teach also an extra band class where her and a few other students were able to come in and practice this piece uh, throughout a semester and just the th all of us working together in that small group and with this student, uh, by the end of the year, they were playing this piece almost as good, if not better, than some of the high schoolers are playing. Uh, and I always like looking back at that and just thinking how much they love playing that piece. Uh, and by the end of the year, they, they were just playing that part over and over again. And just they, they really got the hold on it. And I always like to think back about that. This year, the state snare drum excerpts are really interesting, but the biggest thing for both of them, both 8 to 8 and 11, is definitely about the tempo and about the time signature. I played A2 number eight, which is in seven eight timing. There's seven eighth notes per measure. Now, a lot of times, it's gonna cause students to maybe rush part of the measure or adding extra notes here and there. But I think the biggest challenge with that one is that most of the piece is written in just mezzo forte, instead of having a bunch of different dynamics like it does near the end, which gives the player a lot more time and room to be able to do different things dynamically and add, add certain inflections and almost musicality into some of those by maybe accenting just a little bit, like emphasizing just the beginning of the how the eighth notes are barred or things like that, something to add a bit more groove instead of just a plain mezzo forte the entire time. And you know, that's something they might be kind of looking for in auditions.